I never know what to make of these titles. What's this one? A self uh, self fulfilling odyssey. Ah, oh, that's right. Like, I, remember I that love them, but I'm time. also like. Because on the one hand, there was a Cyclops in the last season. <laughs> So it could very Shit, well you're right. <laughs> it could very well be oh, uh, man, uh, the Odyssey. Man. Oh man, I didn't even think about that. I am completely fucking wiped out right now. <laughs> like I, see, I didn't wake up this morning and it's been a whole day in between. So like if the brain stops, that's why. Let's just uh stop yeah. with the preamble yeah. then. Let's yeah. do yeah. let's get it's to business. business. Just gonna do it and stare at the screen like, what? Because <laughs> that's about the processing level I'm at right now. Life is great. Yeah! You know what I could use right now? That I probably cookies. won't get because it's fucking 10 o'clock at night. Cookies. 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 And jellies and, and jams and, and blondies and, and apple brownies. pie. You forgot the brownies. You, 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 didn't, brownies. Let me, you didn't let me finish. <laughs> I, anyway. I threw in the apple pie. Yes. All these wonderful things and more from Fred's BS. Fred's like, yeah, he doesn't make cat treats though. She wants cookies too. She wants cookies too, but she can't have cookies. I'll take her cookies. Okay. <laughs> She's like, excuse you, I wanted cookies. I made a request. Yeah, Fred does not eat cat treats. Fred does human treats. <laughs> There's no good way to come yes, back. Yes, normal treats for us normal, normal humans. humans. <laughs> she. Yeah, no, I tried to segue that and I just, I wasn't kidding about the brain level today. Uh, yeah, so, Fred's and Spreads by Fred, he does cookies, he does brownies, he does jam, he does all of these wonderful baked goods, and if you're local, he also does pie. Like, he's starting on pies now, so again, keep an eye on the Instagram and all the fun stuff for that. Ah, uh, yes, everything is fresh, never frozen, everything is made in small batches, you can't find these flavors in stores, seriously, otherwise I would be asking Postmates to bring me some stuff from Fred's, but that's not how this works. I just talk to Fred himself and be like, here's an order on the website, here's my coupon code, can I have some cookies when you make them? And the answer is usually yes. Uh, so, yeah, and if you are local, like me, like her, like the cat, but this doesn't apply to the cat, because again, human treats. I mean, um, she is a local She is cat, local. She is. If you are LA local, you can do pickup instead of delivery and get your goods even sooner, which for me has often meant uh, brownies or, I almost said jam. Jam does not come out of the oven. If you're making jam in the oven, I don't know what you're doing, but I'm interested. Um, brownies or cookies or even that one apple pie that one time, fresh out of the oven which is amazing. And if you're interested in the pie thing, it's currently pickup only. Because again, local still trying to figure out how to do this, etc. But the pie is, oh my god, that, that crust was the single best pie crust I think I have ever had. It was delicious. And I like pie. It was delicious. So and good. tasting how good his apple pie was, I want Fred to now make my favorite pie, which is pecan pie. Ah. Uh, because I don't normally like apple pie, I don't normally care for it, but that apple pie was so good. Much like his jellies, you know, where I'm like, I'm not normally a jam type person. His stuff is so good that I'm like, okay, now take my favorite thing and you make it. <laughs> <laughs> Here's this thing I enjoy, please do the thing. Because it will blow um, my mind. Uh, but I'm really excited for the next time we get apple pie. I'm not even gonna I, lie. I want, given how he does his jams, I want a peach pie and or a mixed berry pie. Ooh. Or a raspberry <laughs> peach pie. Could you imagine? This is the part of the ad where we just tell Fred what we want. Yeah. Even though it's not in the store. We do this a lot. <laughs> this is the part where we just kind of yes and with the menu, despite the fact that that's not how Let's any of this Let's talk about works. things that you can't buy. <laughs> You can buy cookies. <laughs> the cookies are amazing. Get some jam, put it on the cookies, put them in your face. And because also, they're wonderful. If you're not sure what to get, you can get a BS box, which is yes. like a little sample of uh, an, an Cookie, assortment of Cookies and things. brownies and jam. When I went home for Christmas last year, I got a sample box to take home to my parents because I talked Fred up so much they had to know. And um, we're not allowed to compare things to my mom's jam or my mom's brownies because at one point my dad said that brownies I had made were the best brownies he'd ever had and mom has literally never let him live that town. So, oh. so yeah. <laughs> yeah. So bringing home Fred's stuff to my parents, my dad was struggling to find the words because he enjoyed everything very, very much, 
but also did not want to put anything above my mother's cooking. All you and say, my mom loved everything. Uh, all so. you say, Mr. Cullen, all you say, these are really good. Yeah. And that's all. Yeah. <laughs> Keep in mind, this best brownie story was like 15 years ago. I was going to say, here's, <laughs> been here's, a how while. You, here's how you save yourself in that scenario. <laughs> Darling, I was lying to our child. <laughs> like we do all the time. <laughs> His save was, I thought you made them. <laughs> Good save. No, it's not. That's a that he terrible tried. save. No, my, my parents are lovely, wonderful human beings who love each other. I, I know this makes it sound like, oh no, my cooking, but no, they're they're pretty good. It's, <laughs> it's one of those never let him live it down. As we bring it up as jokes. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Winters I met my parents. Winters, right? <laughs> let's get let's yeah. get to the chase. So. Yes, get get the brownies that get the brownies that are wonderful. Get all the things that are wonderful. Head to fredsbs.com, f r e d s b s dot com, and use coupon code Kia Cookies for twenty percent off your entire order. And if you're like that went way too fast, why are you auctioneering it all of a sudden? That info's all down there. So if you feel the need to pause the video and get goodies from Fred and then come back, we'll still be here. We're not gonna wait because we're definitely not doing this live, but we'll That's still the, be here. It's the magic of the internet. Cookies for you. Magic. Brown is for me. Jam for your jam buds. Treat yourself. Because you deserve it. Do it. Hi. Oh, no. It, it, I can't All right. cue you, can Let's I? do this. Yes. Season 17, Episode 6, Self-Fulfilling Odyssey. Like, Jason seemed pretty excited about this episode. I haven't seen anything from it on Twitter, but I saw him going like, Yay, it turned out so good. I also started. <laughs> I also started rewatching seasons one through three. Donut gets trapped under a heavy object. Sure, why not? Actually, just one more time. Never gets over. You're terrible. I love you. Sheila, stay here. If anybody moves, shoot them. Oh, why the heck is Wash taking so long? This was the, literally the beginning of the end of Blood Gulch. I know. Wow. Oh my god. The bugle. 
They're, they're an acapella group. They are. Washington, yeah. Broken anyone. 
Do you even know how far you've come? You are so cool. I'm <laughs> so proud of you. I'm always going to be your friend. Really? And, and you're okay. You're not hurt. I'm okay. We're okay. All right. I'm going to lie here and die. Oh, it's no. fine. Who's that? <laughs> Gankin's possessing church. Hey, that guy ruined pizza. And time and space. Yeah, that too. <laughs> I'm going to eat pizza. <laughs> he killed Huggins. Did you hear what I did to Huggins? What? She loves be a dear and kill everyone. Excuse me. What? Uh, you're not church. And? Can you put his body down, please? <laughs> The half witch out of my way now, or else I'll have to get Gary. I should explain. You see, I, I killed Church and um, I kept his helmet. Burr, burr. And, and when he died, and, and, and he died a lot, I, I'd sit with him and feel, um, not better, but, um, it's complicated. You, you see, when someone dies, my brain likes to hurt me with memories, and uh, yeah, I don't know why. Do you have a point? Well, after Epsilon went away, holding the helmet helped me think. Because it hurt to look at. Does that make sense? It hurt me so that uh, I didn't have to. Yeah, grief. Grief is weird. But these days, I like to feel better and you're making me sad, so please put his body down. Ugh. Uh, what? Put it down. Or what? Grief is just like, nope, leave me here to die. I, I'm just gonna I like holding the helmet because looking at it makes me sad. And holding it helps me think. Ah! <laughs> so put him down. <laughs> oh, and Gankin's the cocky bastard. Or what? <laughs> like, but Michael J. Caboose is very strong. <laughs> But Delta just glitching out. Alpha detected. Like, oh, oh dear. Oh, jeez. Ah, yes, the law of unintended consequences. 
right here. Whew. Now see, yeah, this wasn't the episode I was expecting to cry in. Mm -mm. I was expecting you to cry last time. Well, last week we'd been told, like, oh, if this was written by Miles, it's gonna make you cry. And I'm like, actually, I laughed quite a bit this episode. And now this one's just like, oh god, Caboose is talking about grief. And Carolina's apology. <laughs> oh man, that was so good. God. <laughs> and Wash just going, Carolina, you are so cool. You've survived so much. <laughs> just, just. I, 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 I mean, really do think that him going back and seeing her in Freelancer and picking her up here where she's at her lowest, it's just like, oh yeah, things are different. Because, again, he was just happy to be hanging out with the cool kids when he yeah. was a freelancer. And now it's like, oh no, I've seen you've been through some shit. It's okay. Oh, man. Oh, you, you've man. survived things that would have broken me. Um, you've been broken once already, buddy. <laughs> we, uh, we're not going to talk about that, are we? <laughs> no. Well, <laughs> it's a different kind of break. Yeah. Uh, Pressure yeah. fractures versus someone taking a sledgehammer to your sanity. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> that was really good. I'm just gonna lie great. here and die. Don't great. mind me. Great performances all around. Holy hell. Well um, done, everybody. Yeah. And hey, hey, pushing Donut to be the leader. Yeah. Like we were talking yeah. about. Like, Donut can explain it to you. He's good at this. <laughs> Everything's gone penis. Like... Almost. <laughs> Almost made it, buddy. <laughs> like, because usually his are just like double entendres, so that was like, we're just getting it out. <laughs> just, <laughs> just, blah. <laughs> but oh, I really love just giving birth to an alien. Oh, right. What? <laughs> like, does Carolina not know about Junior? I mean, I think that, like, she knows that they associate oh, with an alien God. named Junior. I think she probably assumed that Tucker adopted him, not <laughs> physically gave birth. I love that Wash knows that, though. But again, it's a while ago, people pointed out that by the time season 11 rolled around, he knew Tucker's first name, whereas it took forever, as pointed out in season 3, for Church to... Even asked. <laughs> Seems like something I would have picked up on by now. You know what else you should have picked up on? My fucking first name! <laughs> Whereas it's pointed out in 11, like, oh yeah, Wash is already using it like a disappointed dad. So, Love he would have asked. He would have asked. He would have known. He would have been like, yeah. <laughs> Attempting to get to know the new team. Yeah. I'm... Really excited for where the rest of this. I'm glad that Genkins finally got called out. Huggins, <laughs> Huggins, Huggins, Huggins. And now Griff My knows. My theory might be canon. And now Griff knows. And now Griff knows. Uh. She didn't bail. She was murdered. Maybe. Are you happy that Huggins is back? In for kind of. Light is information, or information is light, and it cannot be destroyed. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. It's like, oh, you in a dark place, quite literally. This is how my parents died! No! And the fact that she's somewhere while time is fracturing. Yeah. Makes me wonder how any of this even applies, or even <sighs> where the hell she is. Has she been thrown back in time? We don't know what black holes can do. We only just got a photo of one. I mean, now that they're all woken up, Griff could theoretically travel back in time to the last time they talked and give her a heads up. I know that'll cause another paradox. And I don't think that's where we're going since we actually see where she went now. Yeah. So I don't think that's how we're gonna fix it. I think she's going to get herself out. And I mean, other options include, again, doing another paradox, but grabbing a time gun yeah. and using the time gun to enact the initial plan before the one that they had was by Gankins. Again, how many more paradoxes can the universe take? Who knows? But I did appreciate Genkin's like, where's the kaboom? There was supposed to be a time-shattering kaboom. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Which I appreciate. This, well, even this just has been great. This has donut, been a season of payoff so far. Just, even just donut. <sighs> I hate my life. I hate my life. I hate my life. Like, I felt for everybody in this episode. Yes. Oh, even man. just, did I just get sarged? 
What have I been doing to people? <laughs> Everyone just having this realization of, oh, oh. Yeah, no, this was. This Do you know them? Yes. How? From places I've never been. This, you, like you were saying, this was all payoff. Um, this was good. Most of this season has been all payoff. I two seasons of glass of wine. I think. <laughs> I'm not done with this yet, but that's gonna change. Oh, that was really good. I, I said that like it's not the world's tiniest drink. Can't uh, wait to talk about it on uh, on the show. Why don't you tell the people about the show? Uh, you, you guys want us to go a little bit more in depth uh, after we get some time to percolate about this episode? Uh, you can catch us on Rooster Team Radio uh, for RBB Read. No, RVB Recall. I always called it RVB Redux. It's Ruby Redux that we do. <laughs> Unless That's this is okay. a paradox. I can't keep any of them straight anyway. Uh, so yeah, we're doing RVB Recall this season where we talk a little bit more in depth about these episodes that we react to. Um, so yeah, check us out there. And yeah, we've got uh, Ruby Redux. Uh, we've got Camp Camp Counselor's Corner. There's a lot of fun Gen stuff. Lockdown. If Gen Lockdown. Only, if you've only just watched Gen Locked, if you haven't listened to us doing Gen Lockdown, do the thing. It's, it's, it's all, it's the whole crew. It's all four of us. And uh, we have some fun and go into some pretty wild places. So check that out. Um, check out the Tee Public store. Check out the YouTube channel. Um, and join our Discord. And that is all at The Rooster Team, anchor.fm slash The Rooster Team, the Tea Public Store, the YouTube channel, the T, uh, the T, the Twitter, which also starts with the T. All of that is at The Rooster Team. So check all of that stuff out. And I'm Megan. You guys can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at The Menguin. That's T H E M E N G U I N. And I'm Katie. You can follow me all over the social medias as well as on YouTube and Twitch. You're already watching the YouTube. This is Rote at Kiaxe, K-I-A-X-E-T. I am also on an Overwatch and Overwatch League podcast called On The Point. You can follow that on this YouTube channel and also on anchor.fm slash On The Point. We, uh, we had the Battle of LA this past weekend in Overwatch League and I was there and I have so, so many opinions. So that's definitely what this week's episode is going to be about. Just recapping the weekend. Things got crazy at the league, and I'm super excited to talk about it with my co-host. You didn't mention your podcast. You oh, yes. It. I also do a podcast. Uh, it's a Lost retrospective podcast called No Love Lost, where my co-host Will Link loves Lost, and I don't. Is fun. <laughs> and that's the end of that chapter. Yeah. If you like this channel, if you like these videos, if you like all this crazy stuff we do, if you want to support this channel, we have the Patreon, which gives you early access to Rooster Teeth, uh, to the Rooster Teeth reviews, higher levels get you requests, which is the only place that I will do requests, and gets you some side content. We recently did a reaction for $5 patrons and up to a, what is a very good, an okay, a kind of good summary. What the, what's the video called? The summary of Kingdom Hearts 3. Ah! Oh, good enough. A good enough the, summary. A good Kingdom enough Hearts. summary of Kingdom Hearts 3. Recently did a reaction to that. Um, $5 patrons can ask questions about our upcoming Kingdom Hearts video because at some point we are going to sit our asses down and talk for about an hour or so on Kingdom Hearts 3 and the franchise as a whole because holy shit do we have opinions. Uh, $5 and up patrons can ask questions on that post and they will be answered and incorporated into the video. So if you want to do that, that is a fun time. Uh, we have a Kofi if you want to throw a couple bucks our way. We do commissions. Patreon is the only place we do requests for certain tiers. Otherwise, we do commissions. And supporting our sponsor supports us. So head over to fredsbs.com, F-R-E-D-S-B-S.com, and use coupon code KIACOOKIES for 20% off your entire order. All that information is down there in the description. You have to hit read more because it's a long-ass description with all that info. And the uh, disclaimer that Rooster Teeth asks us to do to avoid copyright issues. So, if you like this, if you want to see more, if you like this level of madness and brain deadness and improvised <laughs> libraries and all that fun shit, like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell. Every time you hit the bell, someone wakes up from a time paradox. Ding, 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 ding. Where am I? What am I doing to people? Do I know you? We have a cat? Uh, yeah. We have a wonderful, beautiful cat. Who I adore. Yeah, so like, subscribe, ding. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.
and I just get sarged. I just get sarged. It's a pretty good one.